Good night and welcome to another episode of Reason with Ashley and Mort. I'm Ashley and Mort and I'm broadcasting right here on Jamaicans.com Facebook page. As you come in, let me know your name and where you are connecting from. I am connecting from the beautiful parish of Kingston. It's Kingston and St. Andrew, right? Yeah. And as you see, I have a special guest with me. I'll allow her to introduce herself. Hello, I am Diana Mort, Ashley's mommy. Yes. And, and I am from Montego Bay. <laughs> but she's connecting but, from Kingston. But I'm today. connecting from Kingston too. Because <laughs> I'm here with Ashley. Alright, um, as you come in, tell me where you're connecting from. Of course, Reason with Ashley and Mort is a weekly show I do right here on Jamaicans.com Facebook page. And it's a current affairs discussion show right the aim is to have a discussion with you as it relates to what is happening in the island um in the week but i made a deliberate decision this week to not discuss some of the how should i say the difficult topics last week was a very 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 heavy conversation necessary conversation but it was heavy so tonight is going to be a little light i know already that you've seen the topic right so, um, bear with me as I run through the introduction. If this is the first time you're watching this show, right, I am a journalist. I have been practicing journalism for six years now, and I've been broadcasting and writing on Jamaicans.com or contributing to Jamaicans.com for at least, at least two years, two years plus. It, it, it moved into three years now, right? A long time, but about, or not long, 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 you know what I mean. So, as you can see, and I want to read some of your comments, I'm going to pull up, pull them up on my other device now. But as you come in, just tell me your name and tell me where you're connecting from. We are discussing tonight, Jamaica, of course. But we're going to debate which is better, Jamaica as we know it in the, 90, in the 70s, the 80s, and the 90s, or Jamaica today. Of course, I have my mommy right here with me, right? If you're, if you're glad that mommy has joined the live, just give me some hearts, right? <laughs> I will be here with my um, mommy's here tonight to help me with the discussion, right? So she will be debating with me as well, right? As to which is better? Is Jamaica today better or Jamaica of yester year and we have some specific categories that we're going to walk you through so before we make a final decision let's first state our state our claim which is better mommy jamaica today or jamaica jamaica then jamaica then yes all right um pam mcdonald is, says hi from the uk Tess has joined the live. Hi, Tess. <laughs> Donna McGregor from Fort Lauderdale is here. And she says it's her first time. Thank you so much for connecting with us. Tell me what you believe are your thoughts as it relates to our discussion tonight. Right? And I see the numbers, them are jump. I encourage you to do something very important right now. Share this video. Invite your friends. To share the to, to share the video and to join the discussion so the first area that we're going to discuss is social life social life in Jamaica back then and when I say back then we're talking about the 70s the 80s and the 90s tell me about social life then ah uh, well I can only be with the um the 70s, the 80s, and the 90s. All right, the all right, all right. right. But for me, when I was much younger, I think social life back then was more um, enjoyable, more clean. Um, social life was clean. What do you mean clean? Parties. Parties were clean back then? Yeah, they never no broke skin out. Skin out and out. Skin out and broke out. <laughs> What is, I so, mean, what is so wrong with skin out and broke out? Listen to me. All of them body parts, they look fine here right up in Jerusalem. You can't bother with that. You understand? We used to go out and party and it was always nice. I, I, I mean, they used to have... Well, I wasn't allowed to, but I knew that um, they used to have dance. When they have dance, they have dance and then came say, they used to wind up, they want to do a rubber dub, you know, roll out. Yes, so that, 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 that was so different from now when they wear some skin out, them barely, beer as you dare, 
You understand? And what you need to do all of that? You go for enjoy yourself. You let jump on head, top, broke head people. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. I mean, <laughs> wait. you understand? I, I mean, you and and um, social life. You go out on a date with a guy. You would go to a nice restaurant. So we do that now. And yes. Yeah, All right. So and, that was then social yes. life. No, I before me, me talk about what you just say. Um, social life. No, I would say. Jamaica now, in terms of social life, we are a little bit more to ourselves, right? So, yes, we still go out and party when, whenever there is a holiday. We'll go to the beach, right? That's a big um, recreational activity. We'll just visit the beach. Some people don't go in the water. They just sport them swimsuit, right? However, we have, ten we have a tendency as young people now, our Jamaica now, to be very to ourselves to be selfish. i don't want to say selfish yes so we have things in jamaica now where you have a party you go to a, it's called a silent party where you go to the party and you're listening to music you now but you're using your headphones to listen and and what <laughs> and, and that is something i cannot agree with because what is social life social you go out and you interact with other people i think now the um Young people are a selfish generation. What? We're not, yes, we're not there we're yet. <laughs> no, because guess what? You, you used to interact. You used to go to one party, go a party, and you party and enjoy yourself. And you know, you, you interact with people. People, they, they, they hear for another years are in the pandemic phone. And, yes, I yes. Mean, so we tend to be that, on our phone. We tend to want to snap something yeah. or put it on Instagram, put it on Facebook. If you hear a little baby in the background, that's Makeda, my, my five-month-old. And Karen says, and Karen, thank you for connecting with us. She said, nice rubber dub. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you know, Karen, then you can rubber dub. Well, you can socialize and you're on your phone and you have earphones in your ears and you're by yourself. It is so selfish. Question. Maureen McLeod says, people used to hide the liabilities, but no. I don't understand what that means. Explain what you mean, yes. Maureen. All right. So for me, I think social life is a little bit different um, now, right? I do think, I don't agree with my mom when she said people never used to skin out and broke out. I think sometimes the rubber dub, you know, can get explicit. <laughs> well, look here. Let me tell you something. What I'm, when, what I'm saying and I don't is see social anything. life back then... All right, we used to have the discos, with the clubs, and the parties, and they were clean. Actual nice music. You go and you dance, you dance until your foot drop, you're tired, but you, you dance until you sweat. Listen to me, when I met my husband, I met my husband at Cave Disco. And that's in Montego Bay, That's in right? Montego Bay. Okay. That time, there was Seawin Hotel, you know, on the beach there um, in Montego Bay. Wayne Beckford said, eat that party that. And let me tell you, <laughs> I don't know, eat that party with I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> you would have go up on the dance floor and you dance to clean, soulful music. We dance at the, <laughs> listen to me, we sweat. But it's good fun. You left party, you come home, you go home, and you, you used to go to matinees, movies, you know. Gonna go hang out, have ice cream, and say, No, you're afraid because when fight now broke out, you understand. I mean, it's like then go people they go a party with a gun and knife. Mm -mm. We go a party for in a, in a demo time, mm -mm. you know. It's All right, so, so we're not going to stick on social life. Another area that we want to discuss is politics. Politics now, let me speak about the now before I talk about it then because I think politics now is better, right. Politics now is less brute force. Like you must like I've heard stories from my mom and other relatives that there was a time in Jamaica where if you're not if you're in a certain community that is like a stronghold for a particular party, you can lose your life or be injured if it is that you declare that you're of an the opposite party or you support support the op opposite party. I don't think we're necessarily experiencing so many of those um, incidences now, right? And it's a little bit more diplomatic. So our, our politicians now and our political leaders, right, are a little bit more diplomatic in their approach. No, we're not we're reaching young people, but we're going to try to dress like them and talk like them and go on social I media. <laughs> Alright, what was politics like back then?
then. All right. Jamaica well, then. Politics back then, it's sad to say, um, we were afraid. We were really afraid. I, for one, was very afraid because uh, you talk about the 80s and um, on towards the 90s, there was a lot of war. Whenever election time, they come on, everybody afraid. You're afraid, to, you're afraid to wear green. You're afraid to wear orange or red, you know, um, because they used to say, boy, if you wear you, they say you're, you're, up, you're affiliated with this party. And so it was, it, it was sort of afraid. So people were, you know, would, wouldn't basically, you know, uh, apart from those political activists yes. who were blatant and didn't care what. So yeah. The average person at that time would, wouldn't really want to say, um, this is the party that I belong to. And yes. so. But what I think, though, even though it was like that, Issues were being met. Things were, were being, being addressed. Yes. No, something. Not Listen to me. So. A wallet or something coming in Jamal. Um, national. Oh, well, we have highway, hi, highway, highway to, what? Uh, across the aisle. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, you know, things were being done. People used to. Um, but my mother used to, when she said, "Listen to me," she never she ever give thanks to a certain party because she. Get to go go do our nursing and then could have go work in you know, the hospitals, you know. So um, she get our house, yeah. You know the NHT, um, domestic helpers, you know, got the minimum wage come in and so. So I mean, they were, there you know, they, they were yes, things outcome, things were being made. Now, to me, it's pay chat. Everybody just chat and everybody a movie you star. You can tell me if you agree right with mommy. Right across the border. Me not, me not affiliated with none because guess what? The only time me ever voted is when me when won the, the national ID and I was much younger then. Honesty. And then, yeah. And then we go because we think the national ID. And when we get it, we went so friggin' ugly. They went ugly. We ever did the national ID. <laughs> the ah. They're never nice. You know? But for me now, I don't think... I, if, we, apart from the war, but I prefer then because now I play a movie star with uh, right across the board. Everybody just go like go on TV and chat. <laughs> yes, then chat and say this and this so done and nothing and done. And at the end of the day, then just re jump. You know? Okay. Uh, you know? Maureen McLeod says politics today is more open as young people aren't necessarily voting according to family traditions. Family tradition is something that we'll discuss soon. Yeah. I think that's a valid point, Maureen. Floyd says politics is the most corrupt entity in exactly, the world. Exactly, yeah, I agree with you. Jadius, hi Jadius, I remember you from last week. He says she is right. I was a child and my mom would send me to country during election. Yeah, true. Tess says talk facts, mommy. Yes. <laughs> All right, and Karen Daly says I agree with mommy. Marcia says yes. All right. Um, the other area that we want to discuss uh is there you know morals and values. How is it, and what what do you be, believe is it was is morals and values um in that category better now or better then? Then. <laughs> then. Because coming up, you understand, we were taught uh, etiquette, we were taught manners, and you know, you what people just say, but we were taught that as manners well. take it to well. Me know them, my young people must have lost the manners because let me tell you something you couldn't go in a one bus or one car or they walk on the road and they cuss bad road and they behave one certain type of way in my time and past the adult, whether when you mother friend or something, you would be reprimanded. Now, as little as the primary school, they want to tell you how much string or tech make you. But, how but, much but, care, you understand what no, I'm saying? No, but, but. And, and, no, and, and, um, you can't correct them. You're crazy. You lose your life. Put you going to school to fight off teacher now. We could have never. My mother always said, we said, let me tell you something. If you ever come home, come say, I remember one time, my sister, you know, a teacher had, um, said something that hurt a child in you know like make a rude comment, comment to yeah. the child and my sister come home and said if I ever if that the teacher went ever opening but I said to my mother turn on and girl one look I said what you ain't gonna do and come where we couldn't you understand we couldn't do it we, you understand we were taught for respect with elders 
man has take you through the world, no care what teacher always writes. But let me just say, let, but let me just defend the now, the Jamaica now, Jamaica today. We still learn about good manners. We still learn about being polite and being respectful to our elders. However, as Tess says, morals have evolved. Values have evolved. You understand? And I think, yes, Una never used to say it around the disrespectful things or, 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 or rude things around adults, but Una still used to say it. Listen to me. <laughs> we used to say it under the quiet and behind closed door because we never want them here. That's what I'm saying. No, they say it whether you in your face or not. I think you understand. And let me tell you something. Sometimes me on the street are in the and you want to correct them you, know? you want to correct them so bad. But guess what you fear? The, the what the, what the, the, the implications. You understand? I mean put me going to school and the face of a teacher. You understand? Teachers, you know, and and people go, you go in one taxi, and the way they go on and then prowl out and make me say, yeah, all for that. You understand those things? We couldn't do it. So it, the, the um, even though said test it had evolved, evolved to what? To better? No. I think with every society, and as things change, things remain the same. So there may be changes, but there are still similarities when it comes to morals and values. I do agree that there are some homes that aren't doing enough to train um, children to be better citizens. You understand, Jamaican citizens, and represent themselves um, well. However, I don't think we must say, all right, because I know and because. No, I just think that issue continues to, to, back to the it, 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 board. yeah, that issue we continues to, to be unaddressed. Yeah, uh, we, we would have to go, go back to the days when we were a community um, family. You understand where the community raised the child? That I means actually said, don't want to go back to yeah? the days. No. That means that for me, picnic couldn't go out and sort face it with Miss so, Brown. So, what if Miss Brown, Brown have? have something against me, she, she have all right, feel, 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 feel like how you say, if, if Miss Brown think you do something wrong, right, she beat you? Not even think you have logic for beat you. No, no, what that, I, no, what I'm saying is, back then the respect, the respect was there, so you would have never seen one elder they come and disrespect the elder, you wouldn't. Okay. You understand, that's what I'm saying, okay. we should have gone, we need to go back to, so, to that. because if, um, you have people that say, say sometimes when you talk they, um, in your house, where your child here, if teacher ever do this, then go back to school and then play it out. You understand? Me always have one saying to say, if you want to know if your friend is discussing you or have something bad, if you say, they say something bad about you, look at the children. Yeah. Look at the way the children behave. All right. Um, just to pause a little bit. If you're just joining the discussion, this is another episode of Reason with Ashley and Mowat. I'm here with my special guest, my mom, Diana Mowat. And we are discussing, well, we're having a debate. Jamaica now versus Jamaica then. Which is better? I want, I invite you guys to send, to comment below, right? Tell me what you think. I am reading your comments live we are reading it because you can read some as well mm -hmm. um marlet says first time is a whole community raise a child exactly. von dane says is it has become more open it has become more open-minded and angie says on a selfish on a love on an iphone well yes we love the iphone but that no means that we're not socializing as Tess says, things are evolving, so it's not like we're not. Yes, in, in a sense, we are a little bit more to ourselves, I don't want to say selfish, but we still find means and ways to network, right? The other area that we are discussing is technology. Jamaica then or Jamaica now? Technology. Technology. Jamaica now, right? Well, yes, because, <laughs> I, um... I must give thanks to globalization you understand and increases and in and advances in technology because we are seeing how so many jamaicans are now benefiting from these um development you understand in terms of in in several areas you understand in education you have e-learning 
you understand something that wasn't accessible before so you can be in Montego Bay and actually attend a school in Kingston yes. or even abroad you understand you can complete a degree in, a, in, in, in the comfort of your home right in the area of transportation there's actually an, uh, several apps now if you want to book a taxi yes. you don't necessarily have to call you understand you can actually um, book it through the app um, and there are so many ways in which technology has made living in Jamaica now very how should I say? Enjoyable. Yeah. It is good and it is bad. Area no. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Technology. Because guess what? In one sense it it, it, it lessened the amount of employees. Yeah. Two okay. it make people My selfish agrees with you. and, and, and reserve. Yeah. You understand? Three is turn up your light bill. No, but <laughs> you must manage your light bill. Because, but but I mean it is it is better yes no but um but then we you had to interact you understand they had they they, they need people to work so no the the the, the um internet replaced a lot of people yeah uh, you know a lot of jobs not only the internet just the machinery key, yeah. machi right a lot of jobs are lost by it um people become more selfish withdrawn. It's the know, use, it's not, it's not the, the technology, yeah, the use of... Yeah, but because you have to go you're gone <laughs> from this time, you have much games and you depend on your phone and thing. You understand what I'm saying? So, but, and then, but then, guess what? You used to, um... So, but then, what no, did you used to do? You have to, you meet up and you go out. You go to church because you want to mm -hmm. see that there's somebody there. You go to this party there. You go walk, you don't go buy ice cream, you go to Martin, you sit down and you chat to answer. No, but no, but no, you can still go to church. You understand? You can go online, go to church online. You can pay your offering by a bank transfer. And right? then guess what? The church is right now. All right, no, but right. 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 next topic, next topic. We're not going to talk about the church church. Yes. What's the next one? Patriotism. Patriotism. Jamaica now or Jamaica then? I would say it's a tie. Let me tell you something. Nobody patriotism then. Because for me now, I'm in a seat. I don't. Okay, really. so in what way because, was patriotism um, then manifested? People were more, more um, proud. I'm not saying that they're not still proud. But um, people used to do the things that we were as jamaicans were taught to do you know um national anthem national pledge was recited more respect was given to the, the anthem and the pledge more um you know go to represent yourself abroad more better no people not, not care people then we even destroy our own country you, you know what to me to In, me um a patriotism yes you know, it's your love for your country yes. and the thing that you do for your country but we're destroying our country in I directly agree. and indirectly we are destroying our country because guess what i mean people leave jamaica for go abroad for one or two reasons because of the um because the, the opportunities and the opportunities and you see, yeah. when you go over when you, when they are in this go america and when they talk about Jamaica, you wonder say if when they reach pop, when they reach a Jamaica and the pop of the plane, if you don't get one gunshot <laughs> or up to the, up to the airport patrol in a. I mean, we are bad. We're bad, yes, but we're not so terrible. You understand? If we were so terrible, why people keep coming here? So people, as as Jamaicans, our patriotism, it, it, it come like a sun. To me, to that, I disagree. People just, just we don't we, we don't we we're not we only we only member said we we mm. was sure patriotism and independence time no and, and the national, reason uh, no uh, yeah uh, our national heroes day I will, other than that no people i no. will i will say we we'll, we have less people wearing bandana you understand or our, our, our national what do you call it? national costume. bandana national costume yeah, yeah. so we see less people wearing that you understand and i will say that we have less people like singing as i said the national anthem however we're seeing it in different ways they are seeing more jamaicans especially young jamaicans 
willing to put up themselves to represent their country on the national on the international stage in different international competitions. Com yes, yes. You understand? Yes. Sports and performing arts, right? Education as well. I also see um more Jamaicans making an effort to use our culture our our, our things our staple jamaican staple to create business yeah young and jamaicans but they talk about they must say me they talk about them <laughs> no no yeah young people know yeah. some young people know is doing that and it's a minority i don't you know? think it's a minority yes it is i i think i'm gonna tell you something is it jamaican we are wagonists <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, this is who I like. People, people, people are wagonists because people say you're a hater. No, I'm not. Me, look here, me not afraid to tell nobody to me in Jamaica. Anywhere me go, Canada, Florida, anywhere me go in anywhere me in Jamaica. I don't always be terrible. Me always <laughs> say, one time one man said to me, say, "Oh, you're from Jamaica?" Me say, "Yes." Um, they are the country. This and that answer. Me say, "Listen to me." Look on New York, we don't have more crime than we, and we don't know so bad. You understand? People don't want to be associated with Jamaica because this is not what we bad and sitting. But make, when you see and run and come first, Shelly and come, oh, you see the colors and everything. We feel have the colors already, you said too much more that they come up here in Jamaica because every way there. You understand? That's what I'm saying. The young people, them, oh, they no business, they're not Jamaican, whether you like it or not. Then they go there and then they dance and then they do their thing. We, 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 we touch it, touch your eye back. You understand? So I am saying the patriotism in my time is diminished. Okay, com diminished now compared to back then. I'm not no. Back then, then it made sense. Yes, yeah, so back, so back then it was, yes, sir, it was better. It was better because yes, they see so the mother and uh, for me, for me, grandma, they always have them bandana and they sit and they wear, you know. All I right, thought, we are running out of time, so we'll probably have to do two more. Yeah. I think we'll touch on family tradition. Jamaica now or Jamaica then? You go ahead. Then, traditions. Family traditions. Lord, we're embedded. Then embedded, we have to do them, we have to live them. Like we, we rice and peas, have to cook on Sunday. Have to, must be rice and peas every Sunday. Maybe it's a different meat, but the rice and peas have to cook. Your Saturday soup, soup of a drink on Saturday. Yeah. Sunday morning, you get the best breakfast. All right, whatever. so that's that's food. What else uh, in terms of family tradition? All right, church. We I forgot church, and if you go outside, I mean, I know about the Saturday church, but we're Sunday church. And you have a Saturday evening, you have to put out the ribbon and the socks and look for the church panty. And if the clothes were there, we choose for you, so you put out. So you went off to go to church. And then when you come back, you have to go off, you have to make sure you catch man, go off to church to get Sunday school because you have to remember the way the, um, the memory verse in yes. the Sunday school. And then you have to remember the golden text where the pastor take the text from. So those were family tradition that back then was practice it's not um practice so much no all right let you me understand? talk about the no let me talk about the no so no we do not have rice and peas every sunday and we don't have saturday soup every saturday um but i still think christmas time and holiday yeah. time we still come together come together we yes. even invite friends from another culture another country to be a part of it right in terms of family tradition i still see whenever we're in crisis you know family yes, come, come together, come together yes. and ensure that you know even if even if um they they haven't seen each other in a very long time they, they make the point that they use it to even call another family tradition um, even though this is sad, but we don't have a situation where wedding and funerals would take place and the family don't want to be a part, part of, of it. it. Listen so to that's, me. A, that's something that is truly Jamaican. One other thing that I am sad about um, in the family tradition is Christmas time. Christmas time was the best time back then. You understand all of It them. is now. It is not. It, it's not a, <laughs> too much hatred and selfishness. But then... Christmas time they come everybody got because we we 
anybody we always say any relative you never see well i'm from montego bay you could have gone on a parade at sam sharp square and the bus then used to park up a court up on barney street the country bus and everybody come down in you know, the square the tree the um christmas tree that was lighted you have people um the john Kuno dancers you have um people they sell starlight and the christmas art and Everybody just interact and it was so nice the talk. So what about so what about so what about now where we have greetings across the um the well, world? That where different. When we talk about they come together as a family. Let me tell us something. Now then I'll be like that you, the, the Christmas tree that used to be a um, <laughs> a, 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 a natural a, a tree, no come mechanical. I sit there and put up together and why, because why? guess what? The, the, the then children Start and get you up <laughs> so you know they take the fun out of Christmas. You understand? But that wasn't I mean, people still, st people still um, meet and um, and have their family thing. And so, but I mean, you used to love go downtown and the crowd and you could have mingled the crowd and you see all <laughs> that you never see. And it was so nice. No, you did no, no. You're afraid to go because you're afraid. No, because you're chilling up. <laughs> I'm You're pretty free. sure you, you had You're those not. concerns back then. No. Okay, okay. No. Let me hear what people have to say. We're wrapping up. Diana says, it is harder now because so many of our family members are overseas. Um, Delora says, so true, true that. All right, you have a fan there. Jani says, back then we go and visit family and yes. currency and church clothes is only worn at church. Yes, <laughs> yes. Remember, listen to me. You, you ask, you stab you. Yard panty, a church panty. What about and the men? The, the, yeah, with the brief and something. And then the clothes there and, and box, brief they used to wear. And you have your nice clothes. <laughs> boxes <Listen>. now. <laughs> uh, you know, it, 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 it is so different. But for me, I mean, I like it back then. All right. So I want to hear from you just if it is that you do believe Jamaica then was better, send us some hearts if jamaica today is better send us some likes right i really appreciate the interaction tonight look here the numbers went all the way up on your yes, side right yeah. really really appreciate you guys joining thank you to my mom for joining her name is diana mott you can follow her on facebook she's on facebook and she uh has only facebook all, yeah only on facebook and whatsapp in the, in the technological thing answer. She but she's, she's slowly bringing me towards that and me at old school you see me at old school me love then i mean i i like i'm a people person i mean like interact okay with so people. many people are saying they prefer them yeah i am for moving forward so now for me today and tomorrow because yes we have learned from our past but i'm looking to the future that's my that, those are my thoughts. Any final thoughts? My final thought is, is because I want to make you. So if you were in your from beginning, you go on, go on and you go on and keep you. And you because, all right, me, my little granddaughter, me love her so much. And me trying to, with her mother's permission, though, is to bring her up the way me know then. Me want she to enjoy. Me don't want the technology and the this selfishness take her away. I want her to know to go out there and interact and know all fit, you know. Just enjoy people and enjoy life. I mean I'm going to safeguard her if you know the good or the bad. But I mean the way we reach now we live in a very selfish world. And it's only But there me. but there are some enjoyments to it, right? There are some enjoyments to it. Let me tell you so something. the other day, coronavirus, we 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 seen the flattening of the curve and how many songs come out of it. You understand? Okay. The other day, Bounty and being the clash and him asked the police if he really that wants to good. be that guy. That you is understand? very good. So, but this yeah, is yeah, like it and the coronavirus. All right, now that, that's another <laughs> episode. <laughs> that's <all>. <laughs> <laughs> but it's nice. I really enjoy it and yes. so and um, I mean. We'll talk again. Yes. But as Miss say, what well, good? Think about then and, and let us see if we can make it make Jamaica a better place. You understand? With with um with it bring back the tradition, bring back the bandana, bring back the Christmas something. Take the liquor, hate and the violence out of the 
the, the fun we Mix used to the have. Good, the and, good and um, and then and with no. With no. And, yeah. and, and make it. I mean, let me tell you something. It's we, the, the, the older folks, who is going to cut. You know, we have to do it. We have to do it more. You know, and um, that's my take. All right. If you want me to bring back my mom, please let me know in the comments below. Um, you can always follow me on Facebook. I'm Ashlyn Mort on Facebook. On Instagram, I am a mod and Twitter a underscore mod. I'm on YouTube. Search for my name, Ashley Ann Mort. Thank you so much for watching. As usual, look here. I appreciate the participation tonight, and I see that you enjoyed yourself. One day and send me belly bottom. <laughs> <laughs> so until next time, come reason with me. <laughs>